Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50 and welcome to today's workout. My name is Paul and as always, I'm going to be taking you through today's workout. As you guys already know, this is a no equipment workout, hence the title and the thumbnail. Anyway, we got five exercises today. We have push-ups, we have squats, we have supermans, we have bridge tri extensions and some leg raises. Nice and simple. You can make this as difficult or as easy as you want. We're going to do three sets of ex each exercise between 10 and 20 repetitions per exercise. Nice and easy. Remember, pace yourself correctly, put good tension on your muscles, go nice and slow in control, make sure you get full extension, and then a little bit of a pause, and then go back to your starting spot, all right? Let's not waste any more time. Let's start with push-ups. Three times 10. Nice, perfect form push-ups. That's all I want to see out of you. I don't care if you do one or if you do 10. The best form that you can hold, all right? I'm going to do the best that I can. You do the best that you can. Three times 10. Nice and slow on the way down. Pause. And a little bit quicker on the way up, all right? So one repetition should take between three and five seconds. Three times 10, here we go. In three, two, one. Down, pause, and up. And that's one, obviously. You ready? Pause. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five more. One. Two. Three, two more. One, and two. All right, take a little break. What do you guys call it? 30 seconds or so before we move on. So nice pacing. Remember, keep trying to keep the best pace and form that you can throughout this entire workout. Oh, by the way, I wanna thank you. I have one video on here right now that's got 2,000 views in about three weeks. I'll leave a link to that video right now if you want to go check it out it's a beginner friendly 10 minute leg workout i think it's 10 minutes anyway thank you for watching that video a lot i usually don't get that many views i appreciate your support let's get go set number two same pacing 10 of the best push-ups that you can possibly do ready three two one let's go down up down up down. And three. And that's it, that's set number two. So if you're doing those push-ups on your knees, I don't care. Get down your knees, good pace. Same form, same pace. No reason for that to fall apart, all right? We have one more set of push-ups left. So if you're doing push-ups, the way I do them, I keep my elbows completely tucked in. I have a bad shoulder, so if I flare them out a little bit, my shoulder starts hurting. You don't have to keep them right here. You definitely don't want to keep them right here. You want to keep your palms a little far, farther than your shoulder width apart, and you can angle your elbows about 45 degrees, and that's perfectly fine, as long as there's no pain. Since I wanna keep on making these videos for you guys, I keep them tucked in. When you keep your elbows tucked in, it gets more, a little more of a tricep and a little bit less of a chest, but those differences are very marginal. So do whatever you're comfortable with. All right, set number three of 10 push-ups. You guys ready to go? Three, two, one, let's go. Down, up, down. Nice and easy, slow, pause, there you go, and up. Whew. Halfway there. Whew. Whew. One more. Whew. And that's it, then we are done with the push-ups. So guess what? If you do those push-ups at this pace, all of a sudden you can't do 50, 60, or 70, whatever you might be able to do. You might be only be doing 10 and 20, and that's already difficult. So, you know, if you don't have any weights or anything like that, you can make a lot of these exercises a lot more difficult by slowing your tempo down. That's exactly what we're doing today. 
All right, push-ups are done. Chest is pump, a little bit of tricep work. Three times 20 squats, same idea. Down as far as you can go. I don't want to see any, in a, hear about any knee pain or anything else. So if you only go halfway, that's fine. If you go a quarter of the way, it's fine. If you're S to grass, also fine. Whatever works for you. Three times 20. Easy on the way down. A little bit of a pause and pop back up. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Down and up, and that's one. Down and up, and that's two. Five. Keep it up. Halfway with set number one. Five more. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, two more. One, and two, and I believe that was 20, or very close to 20. Close enough for government work. Anyway, you guys see how I go down? I'm not, my hips are not that flexible, my ankles are not that flexible, so I lean forward quite a bit when I do my squats. I try to stay as upright as I can, I do my best. So the same thing goes for you. If you find yourself leaning forward, fight, fight that lean as much as you can. Try to go straight down. I can do it, I work on it, it's getting better. Set number two coming up. You guys ready to go? Three, two, one, and let's go. Down and up. Down and two. Down and three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, one more, and we're halfway, right? Let's go, 10 more. One, two, explode up. Three, four, one more, and only five left. One, two, Three, two more. One, last one. Before we take a break, squat down and up, and there we go. Two sets down, one set to go, and the squats and legs will be done. Let's take a few seconds, kind of gather, gather ourselves. I'm gathering myself, and then we'll get going for set number three. And after that, we have three, three more exercises left. One of them is gonna be core. I just filmed the core video a couple days ago. I can still feel it. See if I can make these three sets. We'll see how it goes, all right? Before that, however, we gotta finish legs, so let's do set number three of our squats, and let's go down, up. One, two, three, boom, four, five, one, come on. Two, three, four, and halfway. Let's go. Ten more. One, two, work with me. Three, four, five more. Nice and slow on the way down. Explode up. One, come on. Two, Three, four, and five. Whew. Chest done, legs done, we could call it a day. We're not. All right, next exercise. I am going to have to lay down on the ground. This microphone is gonna be either hitting the ground or hitting my chin. So, 
Just warning you, sound may be eh. It is what it is. We're working our backs, laying down on your stomach. You guys should be seeing the preview right now. Thumbs up, point up towards the sky. Everything comes up, squeeze, and everything goes down, all right? I gotta make sure I got enough room. Looks pretty good. You guys ready to go? In three, two, one, up, down, up, down. Up and down. Squeeze and down. Five more. One, two, three. Four and five, and we come back up. We take a little break, we go for set number two. So, this will work your back, your back of your shoulders. Squeeze, feel that muscle squeezing all, all the way up, and then slowly you release it. Obviously, like we just did. Two more sets. How are you guys doing? I'm feeling great today. You know, I, I think I'm just really excited about those 2,000 views for the one video. So, I gotta thank you one more time because there's another video I have 2,000 views on, but that one was published like three years ago. This one was published three weeks ago, so let's keep that one going. If you guys are looking to work out on legs, leave a comment down below, leave more likes. Let's get that one going, and we'll get more of those out to you as soon as I can, right? Every Monday and every Thursday, without fail, guys. All right, we got set number two. Thumbs up. You're flying through the sky like Superman, but with your thumbs up. Ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. Up and release. Up and down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, five more. One, two, three, four. Squeeze up, hold it, hold it, hold it, and release. Five. All right. Two sets down, one set to go. Whew. All right. 20 seconds. How about that? Let me look at my watch. All right, we'll call it 15 seconds from now because it took five seconds to get up. We don't want to take too much of a break, so we'll go down in 15 seconds. Well, seven now, six, five. All right, anyway, back down on the ground for the last set of these Supermans. You guys ready to go? Thumbs up, arms out, all the way out, legs stretched, and then you're gonna arch. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looking good. Nine, ten, five more. One. Last one, let's hold it for a few seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Woo! And that does it for that exercise. All right. Two more exercises left. Six sets. We're about, what, 12 minutes into this. Nice and quick. It's going to be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 minute workout. All right. We're going to get into a bridge position like you see on the preview over my head right now. Here? No, here. There we go. Right there. Um, bridge position. You're going to do a little tricep extension. No chair, no equipment, so we're not using anything. So we could do the best that we can. Since you're going to be in the bridge position, you're also going to be working your hamstrings and your core. All right? We are going for 15 repetitions. Up in the bridge. And let's go. One. Two. Little pause. Three. Little pause. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, burn those out, nine, ten, five more, come on, one, two, three, two more, one, and two. I'm just gonna stay seated right now because we're not gonna go very far. We're gonna go right back down on the ground. Two more sets. So guys, when you extend this out, I know that's when you get the burn, but however, most of the muscle growth, growth happens when, you are, when your muscles are extended. So when you go down, actually in that pause, that's when most of the growth happens. Even though you don't, might not feel as much of a burn, the burn happens when you lock out. Always try to do when you're doing partial exercise or anything, get the full extension, stretch that muscle as much as you can, and then push from there. So this workout or any other workout you might be doing, full extension as much as you can, like I said, without getting injured, without straining anything, and then push out. So if you were doing your bench press, or for me, I use dumbbells so I can get the full extension all the way down. Same thing on the push up. You can elevate your hands or go all the way down to the ground. Full extension and then out, all right? Same concept here. Go as low as you can. 15 repetitions coming up. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, pause, two, three, four, and five. 10 more. We got this. One, two, three, four. The burn is nice. Five, five more. One, two, three, four, one more, and five, and just set your butts down. All right, let's take 20 seconds, and then we'll go for last and final set. After that, I'm gonna stand up because I'm gonna wanna shake my arms a little bit. We got three more sets of core, and then we are done. Finito, kaput, whatever you wanna call it. All right, let's get going. Last set, triceps. Here we go, bridge position. Down, up, down, up. Come on. Four, five, one. Come on. Two, slow and up. Three, slow, pause, up. Four, five, five left, ready? One, two, Three, two more. Last one, and up. Woo, that's a good burn. Between that and the push-ups, I said my triceps are shot. What's tomorrow's workout? It's gonna be weights in the garage. Anyway, I'm gonna feel it tomorrow. That's all right. That's why we're here, right? We feel it, then we recover over the weekend, shake everything out, and we'll be right back at it on Monday. All right, final exercise. Leg raises in the V position. Keep your legs as straight as possible. Me, flexibility is not my middle name. Um, I'm gonna do the best that I can. Leg raises, 20, three sets of 20. Seeing the preview right now, right there. Check it out, let's go. So, if you can't stay seated like this, lay all the way down. Make sure you, if you do, you support your lower back. Put those hands in kind of diamond shape underneath your buttocks. If not, stay right here with me, and we're going for 20 reps. Ready? Three, two, one. Lead back, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Burn it out. Halfway. Come on. One, two, three, four, five more, four more, three more, two more. Last one. Up and down, chill. Stay right here. 20 seconds, one set down, two sets to go. We'll make sure we're pretty close to being 20 second rest. Don't wanna take a vacation, not until this workout is over. All right, we'll get going at five, four, three, two, one. So you can actually see me legs up and let's go. One, two, three, come on, four, five. Beautiful, one, two, three, four, and five. Halfway there, two, three, four, five. Five more, 
two, three, four, and five. Curl up to the fetal position like I'm about to do because this burns. And we got one more set left. Now, okay, I caught my breath. All right, guys, one set left. This workout is gonna be over. What are we at it for 15, 16, 18 minutes, including the intro? Nice and easy workout. It'll be 20 minutes with me blapping um, by the time we're done. All right, let's take 10 more and then we get going, ready? Whew, deep breath, Paul, deep breath. Last set, make it count. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and 10. That leaves us 10 left. Five left, ready? Come with me, one. Come on, two, three, four, and five. Woo! All right, we are done. Thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50. My name is Paul. This was our no equipment, kind of full body workout. Follow along with me. If you can do 10 reps, 20 reps, whatever it is you can do. If you can do less or more, just follow along with me. Have fun, remember, don't get injured. Keep everything steady, keep everything under control. Make sure you can come back for more workouts here with me or with somebody else. I just want you to be healthy and fit. Thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50. I'll see you guys every Monday and every Thursday. Put also crap little shorts. I'll see you guys during your next workout.